Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today is a special, special video for me, you guys. So this video is sponsored by Hello Games. They reached out to me. They wanted me to talk about No Man's Sky, and I said, of course. So you're going to notice a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. Go check that out. It'll help the channel out. It'll help out No Man's Sky. You guys want to click that. But the other thing that they wanted to say is, hey, what has been your experience in No Man's Sky? What are your highlights? What 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 do you like about No Man's Sky? So guys, today we're going to do the top three updates that I think made No Man's Sky the game it is today. So these are going to be my best three updates for No Man's Sky. And remember, guys, link down below in the description and the pinned comment. Go over there. Click that link, check it out. It helps out me, helps out the channel, and helps out No Man's Sky. So let's get on with our three best updates for No Man's Sky. Coming in at number three is the Frontiers update for No Man's Sky. This was update 3.6, which came out on September 1st, 2021. And this was a huge update for us because it added settlements to the game. So now, not only were you able to find settlements, random villages or towns on planets that are just randomly procedurally generated, but you could become the overseer of these towns, these villages, these settlements, and you were able to uh, like barter through disputes, you were able to earn money, and not only that, the Frontiers update added a ton of new base parts to the game. So we were, get, we were getting a whole bunch, over a hundred new base parts. And not only base parts, they streamlined base building in the game as well. So all of the uh, base builders in the community were super excited. It added a whole new dynamic to base building and not only to base building, but for everybody who wanted to just, you know, go visit a town or a village, whatever you want to call it, a settlement on a planet you can do that and become the governor or mayor, the overseer of your own settlement. And you know, just, you can create it, you can build more on it. It is such an awesome feature and it changed the game and made it so much more better. I love the Frontiers update. Then coming in at number two is the Expeditions update for No Man's Sky. This was update 3.3. It came out March 31st, 2021, and it added a whole new mode to No Man's Sky. Before Expeditions, all we had was a normal, a permadeath, a survival. We had difficulties. The Expedition mode in No Man's Sky is an entirely new way to play the game. They introduced a whole new game mode, Expeditions. Each of these events starts from a fixed planet and all of us as a community start on the same planet. We build bases, we help each other, and we try to complete different milestones that are not in the regular game. So there's gonna be special things you have to do, special planets you have to visit, special locations you have to visit. It is such an amazing, awesome way to play the game. And not only that, you get special rewards for completing these milestones, for completing these missions in the expedition mode it is such a cool way for the community to play together and it is so great and not only that with the expedition update they brought weekend events back and now they are a regular event every single week weekend friday saturday and sunday we have a community event that we could all go to the same planet and do the same mission together if you want to it is such a cool feature in No Man's Sky. And one of the more subtle updates they put in with the Expedition update is the cross-platform discoveries. Before the Expeditions update came out, everything was stuck to your one platform. So all the PlayStation players were together and all the Xbox players were together and all the uh, PC players were all in their three, you know, three different categories. With the Expeditions update, they were all put into one. So now, as a uh, PC player, I can go to anyone's base and visit it. I can go to someone on Xbox and play and visit their base and their discovery. It is so freaking awesome. I 
love that it brought the community more together and it made the game just that much better it was so amazing and then coming in at number one my favorite my best update to no man's sky is the next update which came out on july 17th 2018 this is a massive massive update i can sit here all day and tell you why this is the best update to no man's sky period end of but let's go over some of the bigger highlights some of the things that the next update changed and added to no man's sky so the first thing it is it added multiplayer to the game literally added multiplayer to the game before the next update all you could do is see a floating orb around the game you wouldn't see a player you couldn't even team up with anybody you would randomly see an orb and you knew there was someone out there the next update completely added in multiplayer you were able to group up with four people and go journey and explore no man's sky that was a game changer just on its own but they didn't stop there they added third person to the uh, to no man's sky it's mind-blowing third person camera that's the only way i play right now and it wasn't until the next update back in 2018 two years after release they put in a third person camera for your player and for your ship and not only that they added player customization because you have a third person camera now you can customize your character in no man's sky to another game changing way to play no man's sky and then on top of all of that they added crafting to no man's sky with the next update so before the next update there was no refiners at all you picked up your materials or you bought it from a space station you were never gonna make anything you couldn't craft anything the next update changed that it changed the face of no man's sky now i craft all the time and it's because of the next update and finally they added procedural technology upgrades so before the next update you were able to just add in specific upgrades to your uh, technology whether that's your exosuit or your multi-tool with the next update it was randomized so now we have what we know of as the a class the b class the c class the s class upgrades that was actually added in with the next update this is by far and away the biggest change to no man's sky not just the procedural tech the entire next update changed no man's sky and made it the game we know of as of today all the base all the building blocks all of what you know in no man's sky was added in during the next update this is by far and away my favorite it's when i started playing and i think the most significant the best update to no man's sky hands down so guys what do you think do you agree with my list do you think there's another update that should have been on this list do you agree that next was the best update in no man's sky you're allowed to be wrong go ahead and be wrong you know that next was the best biggest game changing update in no man's sky so it is I love this game. It is a privilege that Hello Games reached out to me to sponsor a video just to go through the history of what I thought were the best updates for No Man's Sky. I mean, you guys know it's a gigantic game. If you haven't played No Man's Sky, I don't know why you're waiting. I don't know why you're waiting because it's a massive game. It's a huge galaxy filled with unique planets, life forms, and constant danger and action in an infinitely procedurally generated universe meaning you were gonna find tons of stuff that no one else has found there's millions and billions of planets out there there's so many planets we're never gonna find them all so go out there you should be getting into the game not only that the game has base building in it it has crafting exploration survival combat you can be a pirate we have an we just had an outlaw update come out so now we have pirates in the game. It is such an amazing game. You know you want to jump into it. 
You can play it solo. You don't have to play with multiplayer. You can. That is one of the big benefits of it, but you don't have to. If you want to just play by yourself, you totally can. And the biggest selling factor that I tell everybody is once you buy the game, it is yours and you get every single update for free. They have never charged for DLC. There's no microtransactions. What you get is six years of love and care and updates to No Man's Sky. It is the best community I've ever been a part of. I've ever had the privilege of being a part of. I love No Man's Sky through and through. You guys know that I'm not bashful about it. It's been, I've been covering it on my channel for four years. I love No Man's Sky and it makes it so much, it makes it worth it to know that every single update they put out is absolutely free to everybody. No matter what platform you're on, no matter when you started playing, if you just started playing today, you get every single update for free. If you started playing six years ago, you get every update for free. It is amazing. You can play it on PlayStation, PC, Xbox. It's coming to, to Nintendo Switch very, very soon. October, we're going to see it on the Nintendo Switch. You're going to see it on the Apple iPad. You're going to see it everywhere, guys. Do me a favor. There's a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. Hit that link. It helps out the channel. It helps out No Man's Sky. Click on that link. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to looking at your comments down below. Tell me, what was your favorite update to No Man's Sky? What do you think deserved to be on the list? Which one would you knock off? Let me know down in those comments. And I will see you guys next time.